Good morning and welcome back to the house arrest study of Philippians. We want to get into the nitty-gritty of the book. So far we've been looking at an overview, kind of read the whole thing, see what impressions it leaves, see what the big picture is. And it's very important to do a good overview look at a book before you begin a detailed study. It gives us context and context is what helps us find meaning in the smaller parts of the book. So far, you've been doing really good. I've seen some great observations about joy, about contentment, the good things that Paul was experiencing and sharing with the Philippians as he wrote this book. So today, we want to start delving into the details. We want to look at the, the introduction of the book. When Paul does his letters, he always begins with an introduction, always. He starts by introducing himself, then he says a few things, and at the end of his little his little introductory comments, he always extends grace to the people that he's writing to. Grace and usually peace, sometimes something else. But this is the pattern that he follows. Anytime you have a pattern, it's important to look to see what the elements of that pattern is because it says something important about the significant things to the writer. But don't just look at the pattern. That sometimes becomes almost a formula, though I wouldn't want to say that that's what Paul's doing here. The other thing you want to look at is variations in the pattern. So here's what I'd like to encourage you to do. Look at the introduction to Philippians. It begins in chapter 1, verse 1, ends in chapter 1, verse 2. It's a very short introduction compared to some, especially Romans, which is very long. But being so short, it still has uniqueness. Look for the uniqueness in this pattern. It's important to see the overall thing, Paul introducing himself, the grace and peace that he extends, but look for the variation. In order to do that, you're gonna to have to look across all of the letters of Paul that starts with Romans, ends with Philemon, and you'll have to look through all of them and just take a glance. Some of them are very long. It'll be easy to see that those are different. Some of them are very short, but look for the uniqueness in the introduction to Philippians and then come to the comments and tell us your observations. Don't only tell us what the variation is, what's unique about the introduction in Philippians, but also tell us why you think it's important. Thanks for participating and we'll see you under house arrest next time.